Hello, I'm Simon from Adrenaline Knee Bikes and I'm here today to do this unboxing video of this new Bafang Ultra motor and it's got the new XS controller in it. Um, it's been ordered from Germany, um, it's come to me here in the United Kingdom but it's destined to go to one of my customers in the United States. Um, it's a replacement for the existing motor in his bike. Um, the reason he wants it is because um, it offers a lot more power and performance and also it's got a lot more granular control on the motor so it's much more like a Shimano Steps motor in terms of the finesse and the control it's got. So um, yeah, let's get into it and have a look at it. It weighs about eight kilograms, the delivered box, um, and we'll open it up and we'll have a good old look at it. Okay, so the controller itself costs 390 euros, um, but the you can actually buy a brand new motor with the new XS controller pre-fitted. And um, the advantage of that is that obviously they've tested it and that it'll all be in good order when you get it. So um, let's have a look in here. At the moment, they won't actually sell you the, um, the motor, the controller on its own, because they, they want to do that level of testing. So um, if we look here, yeah, we've got the motor. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Just get that out of the box. Um, we've got some uh, shipping information there. We'll have a look through in just a moment as well. And we've got some other accessories. Let's just get these out. Um, so I'll put these just here and we'll have a closer look at those um, in just a moment, okay? Okay guys, so what we've got here is all the component parts that came in the package uh, laid out on the table. Um, so firstly, what we've got is um, the fitting kit. So they're the bolts that go through to hold uh, the motor on the frame. Um, they're just four bolts there and a few washers. We'll have a look at these in a bit of a close-up detail in a moment as well. We've got the plastic cover uh, for the motor that obviously goes on the side once it's all been widened and everything. We've got a couple of little extra fuses and connector pieces there. And they've also nicely included the original controller as well, because obviously they've put the, the new one inside the motor unit. Um, now coming on to the motor unit, this is the Bafang Ultra Motor, um, also known as the GS510.1000. So it's um, a thousand watt um, continuous, 1500 watt peak, but this new XS controller takes it up to 2200 watts continuous. It's capable of uh, 40 amps current um, and up to, I think, up to 60 volts. Although um, I can see from some of the labeling they've put on here, it actually says 52 volts, 40 amps. Um, it's labeled up XS. Um, and it's a sticker across the casing, so obviously it's to prevent uh, customer opening it up and playing around with it. Um, it all looks completely brand new unit, looks really nice. It's got another warranty seal on the crank on the case at the top there as well. Um, again, I will show you a bit more of a close up uh, view on this in a moment. Um, you've got all the power connectors coming out here. We'll take a closer look in a minute, but you've got the main battery power connector, um, the auxiliary um, connectors as well. And uh, we just run through those in a moment as well. Um, so that's it really, that's what has come in the box. And uh, obviously the packaging detail as well. So it all looks, all looks really good. So here's the motor in a bit more of a close up. Um, it does actually come with CAN bus support for the display and um, Shimano DI2 integration. Uh, it's programmable via um, iPhones and or an Android app on the go. Um, but it's not possible to program it with the, the original Bafang config tool. Um, it allows for automatic shifting support based on the pedal cadence, which means it's more sort of sympathetic on the, uh, the drive chain and the sprockets. Um, it also provides uh, traction control, launch control, wheelie control. Um, just generally, you get far better uh, sensitivity and response. Um, you know, there's a this decreased response time uh, to the torque input signal, meaning that basically it start and stop immediately when you're pushing on the pedal and releasing the pedal pe pressure, which is really nice. Uh, it's just much more sort of torque sensor controlled than the original sort of standard Bafang controller is. Um, the riding is what they say, sort of more harmonic and it allows more natural pedaling. Gear shifting's better, 
um, and just generally any smoothness issues that have previously been raised by customers around the standard bath and controller and the st running the standard software and standard settings all completely eliminated. Um, you're basically going to end up with a sort of similar level of smoothness and refinement compared to the Shimano Steps motor, um, which, you know, really thinking about it, it's a huge achievement since the Bafang motor, you know, this one would be able to run over 2000 watts compared to Shimano's uh, two foot, 250 watt motor. Um, and also it'll run at much cooler temperatures um, with a new controller compared to the original Bafang controller. Uh, it's been proven for extensive testing and uh, you know it had better efficiency as well so you probably get something like in the order of 10 to 15 percent increased range even though you're running at the higher power levels as well. It's got more fail safe protection built in um, and that should prove uh, to be much more reliable as well compared to other sort of tuned motors running higher uh, power output levels. Uh, and then finally, the controller's got um, switching output for lights integrated with the main battery, enabling the lights to run at a higher current. Um, it's short circuit protected, and you'll probably be able to run premium lights quite easily, like the Supernova M99, etc. Um, so that's the motor, just a bit of an overview and some of the specs. So um, the, these are the extra bits that it came with. Um, there's the standard. Uh, controller that, that I said, you know, it's all nicely packaged up. That would have been the one that they've obviously removed. Uh, we've got the uh, little fuse bit I mentioned as well, just a few extra connectors there, plastic, plastic uh, motor housing, and we've got the, the fitting kit I mentioned there as well. Okay, uh, what I will do, we just go outside, I'll show you this up against the motor that's in my bike so that you can just sort of appreciate uh, where it's fitted and everything. So we're out in the garage, this is my um, AM1000 Frey bike. Um, here you can see, obviously that's my motor set up there and that's the new one. So, you know, looking exactly the same, basically. Uh, that's his new one with the new controller in it. That's the existing one. Okay, so um, that's pretty much it. Um, just got to box it all up, get it shipped off now. Um, if you, hopefully this video has been useful to somebody out there. Uh, I'm sure somebody's considering getting an excess control as well. If you're based in the States um, and you've got the same issue with getting one shipped over to you, then please get in touch. I'm more than happy to help out. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks very much and uh, goodbye from Adrenaline E-Bikes. Cheers.